We all know that we should be thinking about where the fish we buy comes from. But how can we guarantee that our choices are sustainable, ethical and legal if we don't even know what kind of seafood we're buying? Selling fraudulent fish is big business for unscrupulous operators. But this is not just harmless profiteering. Seafood fraud risks public health, harms ocean wildlife and can be associated with serious human rights abuses. In 2018, the Environmental Justice Foundation began a year-long study to investigate rumours of widespread seafood mislabeling in Korean supply chains. The study revealed that more than one in three seafood samples had been mislabeled, sometimes substituted with vulnerable species and fish that could have been caught illegally. And this fraudulent fish is making its way to consumers' plates. South Korea has one of the highest rates of seafood consumption in the world. But its seafood industry suffers from a severe lack of transparency and seafood fraud is rife. 갈수록 점점 수산물 그 산지에 대한 그 정보가 혼탁해지거나 음또 둔갑의 위험이 점점 많아지고 있기 때문에 이제는 이 원산지 그리고 어종 품목에 대한 정확한 명칭이 소비자들한테는 어좀 각인이 되고 인식이 될 시점이 온 것이죠. Despite a growing public awareness of the need to buy sustainable, ethical and legal fish, consumers across Korea are inadvertently buying fraudulent fish. Fish that's deliberately mislabeled to increase profits for suppliers, hugely limiting consumers' ability to make informed purchasing decisions. 둔갑된다고 하는 거는 이제 결국은 이제 중간 과정에 관리가 생략되는 문제이기 때문에 이게 이제 소비자 가격의 문제도 있지만 소비자 안전과 관련된 문제와도 연결되는 것이고 과정에 대한 뭐 과정의 문제가 다 생략되거나 또 감춰져 있는 것이기 때문에 그 과정에서 우리가 알아야 될 것들 또는 알 필요가 있는 문제들이 숨겨지는 것이 가장 큰 문제라고 생각합니다. To investigate this issue, EJF launched a DNA-based study collecting 300 samples of seafood at restaurants, fish markets and superstores across the capital. Samples were carefully selected, sealed and labelled and stored in alcohol to preserve their DNA. Once all samples were collected, they were submitted for testing at the Korean Institute of Ocean Science and Technology. 네, 유전자 정보를 이용해서 어류의 종을 판별하려면 크게 다섯 단계로 진행을 하게 되는데 먼저 어류를 샘플링을 하고요. 그 샘플에서 지누믹 DNA를 추출해요. 그 추출한 지누믹 DNA를 가지고 어, 바코드 유전자를 증폭하는 단계를 거쳐서 염기 서열을 확보하고 그 확보된 염기 서열을 가지고 종을 판별하게 돼 있습니다. Thirty-four point eight percent of all the seafood EJF sampled was mislabeled. That's more than one in every three samples. Over 50% of the seafood sold as Japanese eel, mottled skate or common octopus had been substituted for something else. And none of the samples sold as fleshy prawn were correctly labelled. The results show that Korean seafood supply chains desperately lack transparency, making them vulnerable to contamination with fish from illegal or unregulated sources. These products can be tainted with human rights abuses, where unregulated working environments fuel the mistreatment of vulnerable workers. Fraudulent seafood can also come from facilities with poor hygiene standards that put consumer health at risk. On top of this, when cheap fish is disguised as a more expensive variety, consumers can end up paying up to four or five times what they should. Seafood fraud also has huge implications for marine wildlife, EJF study shows that around 30% of meat sold as minky whale had actually been substituted, often with dolphin or porpoise. Both species can contain high levels of mercury that are harmful to consumers, and the porpoise species identified is protected by law and illegal to sell. So what can be done? 
Korean authorities introduced a voluntary barcode-based traceability system in 2008. But over a decade later, uptake has remained disappointingly low. 그게 제가 보니까 그 의무제가 아니잖아요. 자율제에 맡기다 보니까 어 일단 너무 없어요. 그게 여기저기서 수성물마다 다 점표가 붙어 있었으면 어 사람들이 이게 뭐지 하고 관심을 가질 법도 한데 뭐 광어 아니면 굴비 그것도 어쩌다 보이기 때문에 어 사람들이 그렇게 관심 있게 보지 않는 것 같습니다. EJF's DNA study shows that seafood fraud is widespread in Korea and consumers cannot guarantee that the fish they are buying is safe, ethical or sustainable. The system needs urgent reform. 이미 지금 이제 수산물과 관련돼서는 원산지 표시제라든지 이런 이제 뭐 수입품에 대해서도 여러 가지 그러니까 상품 생산과 관련된 그 절차나 제도들이 있는 것인데 그 제도가 제대로 적용되지 않았다는 이야기인 거거든요. 그러면 이제 과제는 우리나라가 시민들 차원에서도 그런 책임에 대한 문제들, 국가의 책임, 기업의 책임만이 아니라 소비자의 책임으로서도 이런 문제들을 인식하는 해야 하는 때가 오지 않았나 싶습니다. Government, industry and consumers must come together to urgently address this issue. By adopting more rigorous transparency measures, seafood fraud could be substantially reduced and sustainable, ethical fish could be preserved for those who depend on it, now and in the future.